Hi, I'm Chef Rafael and welcome to another episode of Dishi the Ajab. Now, today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make some lemon mandazis. It's super simple to make. I'm using the mandazi flour from Ajab and uh, I hope you learn something new. Let's get cooking. So when it comes to the ingredients, we have uh, margarine, which is one spoon. I've uh, this approximately this much if you are scooping it with a spoon. Lemon zest, so approximately half the lemon, not the full one. One egg, now half a cup of milk. Sugar is about six tablespoons of sugar. So for the flour, it's about 350 grams of uh, the flour. So in terms of ratio, is two cups and half a cup of milk. So for the sugar, six. Like I said, you can still do five. Lemon zest. Now to that, I'm going to add the margarine. So you want to see the uh, margarine or butter uh, mixed into the flour. So what I usually do is I crack the egg into the milk because these are the wet ingredients. Mix the egg. and then pour the center. Now instead of lemon zest, you can also use um, orange. You can add spice, you can add ginger, you can add um, uh, nutmeg, I think, if you like it. Or just leave it plain. So you mix it until it stops being sticky. So in, in case it's sticking to your hands, just add a little bit more flour. Now in case it's a little bit too hard, um, you can always add more liquid. But again, when you use the ratio, half a cup of milk or water for two cups of flour. Make it into a bowl. Set it on the bowl and cover it. I'm going to use a clean film. So when you cover it, you're letting it rest. It's very really important to cover it either with a clean film or a damp cloth so that it does not form a crust on top. Uh, resting it should take about 15 minutes. So now 15 minutes are up. It can stay longer, up to 30 minutes, even, even longer than that. But the longer you keep it, the more the baking powder is in the, in the mandazi flies reacting with the flour and it will do the, make the mandazis puff a little bit larger than probably you'd want them. Roll it. Now you can divide this mixture into two. Actually, I'll do that. So you can decide which shape you want. I want to make them into small sized mandazis, like square shape. And then I'm using a pizza cutter, it makes it easier. You can also use a small knife. I'm going to make now depending on the size. Just cut them. To small sizes. So what I've done now is that you have different sizes you can decide slightly bigger ones or small ones it's up to you and like i said when it comes to thickness the thicker they are the more flesh you'll get but you also don't want them to be too thin so you'll notice that they start turning golden brown on one end so just turn them one by one so they're ready the idea again is to make sure they're evenly colored and um wait for them to cool down before you start eating. Now, uh, assuming it's 
this one is thick. It's, um, it's fleshy, it doesn't have the air bubble inside, which uh, mandazis usually have. But that is because of, the, of how, you know, how you roll it. Now this one has an air bubble, if I cut into it, it has stretched, so this is also okay. I can see the lemon um, zest on the inside, it smells really nice. Mm. When they are warm or fresh, they have a nice crunch to them. One thing about it is the, the way it has stretched, and this is all because of the flour. Now the type of flour that you use matters. You can always use all-purpose flour and baking powder uh, to make mandazi or sometimes even you can use self-raising flour. But this one has been uh, specifically been made to produce uh, mandazi. So it is the way they have made it or processed it to, um, to suit the making of mandazi. So make sure you check out the other videos that I've made with the Aja flour to see which one, which recipe will suit you. And I hope you'll try them all. Until next time, goodbye.